be heard. All right, guys. As you can see, they're ready to get started. So let's get started. Um, okay, a few reminders again. If you can please mute your cell phone. Um, and again, please take pictures and make sure you tag the pictures and use the hashtag SA Mastermind on all the social media channels. We want to make sure San Antonio knows that the mastermind of principles are going to be revitalized here. So please join in and uh, participate on that. Um, again, if you need to get up for any reason, we ask if you could please use the outer perimeter and not down the center aisle to exit. So if you could please go to the outside. If you need to go to the powder room, you can go through here or go around through the other side. All right. So also, um, like I mentioned, we will be live streaming. So again, just be careful with the center aisle. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. And one thing, that uh, there was a study that was done, and basically, in the study, it said when you attend an event, if you sit and listen, you're going to remember approximately 40% of it in 30 days, okay? If you sit, listen, and take notes, you're gonna remember about 60 to 70% in 30 days. But if you sit, listen, take notes, and participate, you're going to remember about 80 to 90 percent. So we really want you to, you know, uh, join in again, participate either in the social media or some of the suggestions when we ask you. So please, please take a part of that. We invite you to do so. So and take notes. Use the program to take notes as well. All right. So we also want to thank some people here that made this possible for us today. And one is Geek Dome. If you do not know about Geek Dome, this is an amazing facility here. Um, the meat of the whole, I guess, company is on the seventh floor. This is our event center. So if you haven't gotten a chance to go visit, I invite you to go visit the seventh floor, take a look around, uh, if not today, tomorrow. But it brings people together. It's a collaboration of thinkers, people helping to do startups, entrepreneurs bringing ideas together, strategies together, so we couldn't think of a better place to hold the first Mastermind event tonight. So if you're interested in becoming a member, Camille is back there. <laughs> there she is. And you can speak with her or also speak with a Geek Dome representative as well. Okay, so again, thank you. All right, also, we have a few other people. So this wonderful, delicious coffee you're drinking, and I hope you are drinking it. Um, was brought here by Mr. Lenny Walls with Organo Gold. So we want to thank him uh, for bringing it. If you want to tell us a little bit about it, Lenny. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> don't give me the mic. I'll start talking too much, though, really. Um, I'm so honored to be here. You know, uh, some of you guys don't know me. A lot of you do. Uh, my background, I played 10 years of professional football. And um, now I'm a fitness specialist and social entrepreneur. And this is just one of many ventures that I have going on. And uh, it's a marketing and distribution company. You know, coffee is the largest traded commodity in the world right now. Um, but typical coffee is known to be acidic in nature and it's real harmful for the body. So what our executives did is we came up with a concept where we could create a community of healthy coffee drinkers as well as entrepreneurs and keep their business options open, if you will. Right? And I love to see people coming together. First of all, whether it's unity, um, you always have victory. Teamwork makes the dream work. So it all, it's always good to see people coming together, especially for a common goal. I told you I'd keep on talking. Thank you. Thank you, Lenny. If you haven't gotten a chance to hear Lenny speak, he is a fantastic, fantastic speaker. You can learn a lot from him. We would also like to thank the delicious shrimp you're eating. Okay, it's from, uh, thank Mozzie from Scusi's Italian Grill. So if he can tell you a little bit about it. Probably not give you the recipe, but he can tell you about excuses. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm honored to be here uh, with the great friends and supports that I have. And uh, Lenny, great friend of mine as well. So as Nerissa, I give you a little bit of background of myself. Uh, I opened the Scoozies in 2008. Uh, been in business since then. It's been great, and it's been a great experience. I love meeting people, and I have a passion to this. Um, recently, uh, last November, I opened a fitness studio and uh, I had the pleasure to have Nerissa to join me and my team. So things are great and I'm thankful and uh, I appreciate the opportunity that I have right now to be here and uh, serve you guys, my special friend, and I would like to have you guys come by Scoozies and try it yourself. And as we were having a conversation with John earlier, he said when it comes out of the oven, it's 10 times better than this. Oh. 
So hope to see you guys at the Scoozies, and thank you, Nerds. Hold on, can you tell us the address real quick? Uh, we are located on 1604 in Northwest Military, right in front of the cat. Yes. Great place. Please go check it out. Fabulous, fabulous food. And we also want to thank uh, Damon Ross with Damon Ro D. Ross Photography. He is right over here. He takes phenomenal pictures. He's local here in San Antonio, so we want to support our local entrepreneurs and business owners here. So if you're looking for a photographer for a special event or for a portfolio, whichever the case may be, Contact Damon, he's awesome, okay? Um, also, we want to thank, again, one of my favorites, Erin Eaton with Eaton Sweets, and she brought fabulous cupcakes. They're so good. I haven't eaten one, and I'll tell you why later, but I have not had one. So I can't wait to try it. I'll have to contact you later. And I am also very proud and honored to also be a sponsor of this great event. Um, my company, or my Business is Stay Fit, Stay Fierce. My website is www.stayfitstayfierce.com. Okay, so that kind of lets, gives you an idea of who I am. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Narissa Figueroa, and I'm a fitness specialist. I've been in the fitness industry for over 20 years. I absolutely love it. I have a passion for fitness, I always have. And I'm very blessed in that I'm able to make a living off what I love to do. So I love helping others as well. And I have been also lucky enough, I started competing in 2008, and I won, I earned Miss Fitness Arizona 2009 and 2010. And I joke because I say I, I would have tried for the third, but I moved back to Texas. So, <laughs> and I love Texas, my heart belongs to Texas. So, and then I went on to compete in the Miss Fitness USA, and I was a finalist, and I placed 11th and 12th those two years that I competed. And then I competed in Miss Fitness America. I placed 11th. So I'm very still, still very proud for the placings that I did receive because it was among some categories I was competing over 100 with 100 women. Beautiful women, strong women, ambitious. So it was quite an honor to be there with all of them. And then I competed in 2012 with the World Beauty Fitness Federation and I won the Texas Championship. So I earned my pro card with them, so very blessed. And then I also competed in the World Championship with the World Beauty Fitness Federation. I will be competing again in August. So I'm gonna be in Vegas in August, August 14th to the 16th, competing with the World Championship. I am, my pitch right here, my, I have to do this. I am currently looking for sponsors, so if anyone's interested in any kind of sponsorship relationship as far as you know promotion anything like that for your business or products please contact me because i am currently looking for sponsors i've been very lucky i also was speaking earlier with, with um, a gentleman that i also worked with the military so i worked with the military for eight years i trained airmen in physical training i earned the civilian of the year award for the base and for the 16th air force and won performer of the year for the united states Air Forces in Europe. So now I'm in corporate wellness. But my most important role of all is I'm a mom. So those are my two kids. I have a nine-year-old daughter and a 12-year-old son, and they're my why. They're my absolute why. And they're the reason I work 60 plus hours a week, and they're the reason I wanna do better, I wanna be better, I don't have all the answers, and I tell everyone, because everyone's always like, how do you do it? I don't have all the answers. Sometimes I'm just flying by, the, by the, my, my seat, pretty much. And so, you know, I'm just like the typical mother. I forget things, go back in the house, have to go get them. I leave laundry in the washer by accident, too. So, um, all kinds of things, but I love them. That's why I work. That's why I want to better myself. And that's why I, love, why I love what I do in helping others with their fitness goals and love being a coach. With that said, being a coach, I have coaches of my own. I have two, because I feel like everyone needs accountability. My, the biggest example I can use is that when an NFL player makes it to the pros, or when an athlete makes it to the NFL, they don't stop getting coached. They get better coaches and more coaches, right? So you have to get, keep getting coached. So it's so awesome to invest in yourself. And this is a great opportunity that we have tonight. I've been lucky enough to work with them. 
the panel, and they've helped me tremendously with different strategies to better myself, better my business, and help with growth. Okay? So, what the agenda for tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to be taking six cards out of the fishbowl. So, I don't know if all of you have placed your business cards in the fishbowl yet, but the first three um, are going to have, the first three names that I draw are going to have one minute to come up here and do a business pitch. And basically you're going to tell us who you are, what you do, what kind of clients or business you're looking for. Okay? And if anyone in the audience has someone that may be able to help them or you may be able to help, with them, help them, please connect with them after the event. Okay? Uh, and again, that will be um, for one minute up here on the stage. And I tell everyone it's a business pitch, not a personal pitch. Business. <laughs> So, no match.com. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> all right. Then, after, then the panel will speak. Each member will speak for five to six minutes. All right. They're going to go over some great strategies and principles um, that have helped them succeed, that will also help us in different ways, but also what it brings to the mastermind and the strategies behind it. So, after they speak, we will pull three more additional names. From those names, we are going to have those three individuals come up for a coaching session, okay? So you're gonna be up here being coached for about 10 minutes by the four panel members, all right? Here's the thing, is that you really have to try to uh, go over after we pick those names while they're speaking it's going to be important for you to re think about what you want to ask them what you want to go over maybe you just want to ask them their opinion on something but this is a great opportunity because as I said everyone needs coaching and if you were to sit for an hour with four coaches you would be looking for about at about a thousand dollars an hour with four coaches so take advantage of this opportunity and also, you know, as being part of the audience, I would take advantage of it as well. Hopefully you can pull out as much information and use those strategies for yourself too. Um, and then we will ask as well, the audience will be able to take one suggestion from the audience with each individual. So we're probably going to have to pick the first hand that goes up. So hopefully you're quick on your hands. Okay. All right. So where is the fish bowl? Yeah, did everybody put their card into the fishbowl? If you didn't, I'll come around and bring that fishbowl. Mr. Mozzie can actually probably pick up your cards as you can. Everybody put their card in? Yes? No. Oh. You can give me your cards and then I'll put them in the, the bowl. Anyone else? Luckily, I'm, I'm good at walking in my Put your hands up so I can see you. I'll come to you. Yes. Anybody else? This is a great opportunity, guys. Anybody else? You're taking a card or putting a card in? No, putting the card in. Yeah, we're putting cards in so you can have an opportunity to get coached. <laughs> yes, you can. All right, so last chance going once. Anybody else? And again, this also goes for your for the three people who are going to come up and promote their business for one minute. So this, for that as well. All right, guys. So um, I think we had one more over here, right? Did you need to put your card in? Someone raise your hand. No? No, we're good. Okay. All right, so let's get started. We're going to go ahead and do our three. I'll have Monzi help me. This is perfect. I'll 
to stand on the stage. Can you guys stay closer to this one? Yes. All right. So again, the first three will be to come up here and do your one-minute business pitch. Business pitch. All right. So the first one is... <laughs> Come on down. We'll say that's my no, sorry. Okay, hold on. Just a minute. What is your name? Eric. 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 Okay. Man, you know your card well. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, and the second one will be Javier. Javier Guerrera. Tech Quarry. Okay, so you'll be the second. Okay. Yeah, y'all can come up to the side if you'd like. And then the third one is Edith Mary Stanley with the your readings. And this will be again for, for your one minute, okay? So when you come up here, what you're just gonna do is basically, hi, my name, for example, my name is Nerissa Figueroa. I am a fitness enthusiast, been in the business over 20 years. These are the type of clients I'm looking for, okay? so. Come on up. You want to come first, Eric? Eric first. Don't get scared. You can sit right there. Okay. 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 All right. So, Eric, tell us about, a little bit about yourself. My name is Eric Wayne, and I am a jingle writer, as a matter of fact. <laughs> wow. How long have you been doing that? Um, it's about maybe 15, 16 is when I really started to practice my skills. Um, I've been in band all my life. Um, I'm focusing right now on original birthday jingles, so a different way of gift giving. Any y'all need anything for your friends, family, any sorts of special occasions, you let me know and I can make them smile. Awesome. awesome. Of anyone that would be able to help Eric out with clients or business if you can connect with him afterwards and you do for any occasion all occasions all occasions all occasions and so social media as well uh, before you go Eric I want to ask you what's a, what's a client like give us an idea of what a client is for you uh, a client is uh, like say an anniversary is coming up and the husband or the wife doesn't know how to tell them how they feel um, what I'll do is I'll give them a form, ask them a whole bunch of detailed questions, and they fill it out. So basically, they have this attachment as if they wrote the song themselves. It's completely original, and it lasts forever. That's, that's cool. That's the good thing about it. Men, take note of that. <laughs> Connect with Eric after if you want to. Take notes. See, I told you, take notes. All right. Well, thank you, Eric, thank you. so much. And again, connect with Eric afterwards, guys. I'm definitely going to connect with him as far as, like, that's, some, that's without a doubt, a unique, unique gift or something you may need for social media as well. Marissa, right. who's the third person? I don't see a third person. Um, we have a shy member in the, in the audience. Oh, there she is. Oh, okay. Sure, come up Excellent. this way. Yeah, here we go. And you're Javier, right? Yes. All right, we have Hari, Javier Guerrera. Yeah, Marissa. Hey, Javier. Thank Thanks for coming. All right, Javier, so tell me a little bit about yourself and your work and what you're looking for. So, I'm always looking for clients. So basically, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur by nature. I attribute my success to being able to think differently and kind of raise the bar, improve things, right? So I, I've worked for the number one and number two largest technology professional services firms in the world. And over the past, actually a couple years ago, we launched Tech Quarry. Uh, which basically we do technology, professional services, staffing, solutions, whatever you want to call it. Basically, uh, over about a six or seven year period, I studied the majority of the major competition within San Antonio, and uh, basically with some very senior partners, launched TechQuery. We basically studied the competition and we created TechQuery with about 21 differentiators to basically take all the negative or as much negative out of the industry as possible and uh, give people an opportunity to earn ownership in the company and basically help us launch this as a national firm. Awesome. Okay. And what kind of client are you looking for? I'm going to hold my mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, go ahead. 
I mean, tell us what kind of client you're looking for and who, I mean, who, who you typically would do work with. It could be anybody from a USAA to uh, a small startup. So anybody that needs technology, technology professionals or solutions in any capacity from a one person placement to an entire team to come in and migrate a data center. Uh, anything from a help desk personnel to all the way up to a CIO. And it's tech quarry, tech right? Quarry. Yeah. Right, so that's some great, great stuff, guys. So um, Javier's gonna be here. Please connect with him after the event. Um, it sounded like Scott's phenomenal um, business, and as far as the area that he's in, he's definitely a professional, so connect with him afterwards. Thank you, Javier. All right, so you are Edith? Yes, ma'am. All right, Edith, so tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do and how long you've been doing it. I'm a writer, an artist, an author, and I've been doing it since I was in high school. Recently, I decided to help people not be afraid. And how do you do that? Coaching. <laughs> awesome. There you go. And so you've been writing since you were very, very young. In high school, I discovered I had a way with words and uh, three published books under my belt. I think that kind of proved that. So. Awesome. And now I can help other people not be afraid to follow their dreams. Awesome. Okay. And. What type of a client do you look for? People who can't move forward because they're afraid. There are only two emotions, love and fear, and they're the same coin. So we need to get from one flip side to the other. And that's what I hope people do. Fantastic. All right. So again, if you want to connect with Edith after the event, please do so. And I think that's phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we're going to call three more cards guys and again if you can help these individuals with business clients in any way please get with them after the event please we're gonna pull three more cards I lost my assistant Mozzie uh, no you got John's coming up here <laughs> you see if we had a male MC it would have been crickets. You get a girl, and the, I'm surprised the audience members didn't come up. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna um, again. The panel is going to speak. They'll each have about their five to six minutes to speak. These individuals that get called up here for their ten minute coaching session, that is going to be your time to go over and think about what you want to ask the panel when you're up here. Um, what questions you may have maybe some challenges or again maybe you have an opinion on something you need some help with or which way to maybe which turn to take um and again so they'll speak for five to six minutes and then we'll go ahead and um bring you guys up all right all right so the first one will be adam's gift awesome all right there we go Second one is All Together Funding Ed Wilson. We're not doing it yet, not just yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, San Antonio Business Calendar. Mike. Mike. Awesome, cool. All right, so we have our three. Okay, so this is your chance, guys, again, to think about what you're going to go over with the coaches. Don't forget, this is a great opportunity for to uh, think about that and go over it. Um, all right, so three coaching sessions. We're going to go ahead and get into it. And again, I just want to remind everybody, if you can please, if you do need to get up, if you can exit to the outer perimeter. So just a big reminder because of the, the streaming. All right, so... Our first speaker, now we're gonna meet the mind behind the mastermind principle in our meeting tonight. So here's the good stuff. All right, for, for our first speaker, he is the founder of personal development and personal coaching website, thesecrettosuccess.com. He was the top 200 financial advisors under Reuters, and he also was top 40 under 40 business owners by the San Antonio Business Journal. He was the financial planning expert of San Antonio by News 4 WOAI. So he's got a lot of under his belt. And please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy McGilvery.
Thank you, Narissa. Napoleon Hill, author of the game-changing book, Think and Grow Rich, stated, you can accomplish more in one year by being involved with a mastermind group than you could a lifetime not being involved in a mastermind group. And I'd like to offer you some proof that that holds true today just as much as it ever has. Six weeks ago, Yusuf, Jonathan, Peter and myself met at 7 a.m. on a Saturday morning. And I said something to them like this. Have you ever noticed that a lot of people in San Antonio are working competitively instead of collectively? Quickly we began talking about the benefits of co-creating and cooperative collaboration. Unanimously, every single one of us agree. If you're ever going to accomplish anything significant in this world, you can't do it by yourself. You need to work with others. We began to feel that it was our duty to bring like-minded people together in this city and encourage them to collaborate. So we continued to meet early on Saturday mornings while our vision for San Antonio Mastermind began to unfold. And in a very short amount of time, it took us six weeks to bring all you guys together. That's unheard of in many events. Six weeks to bring people together that want to share ideas, they want to grow, that are serious about success. We're able to begin to brand San Antonio Mastermind by designing this amazing logo. We launched our website, sa8mastermind.com. All this in less than six weeks. And once we saw the overwhelming response to this event right here, we already laid the foundation for Dallas Mastermind, Houston Mastermind, and Austin Mastermind, where hundreds of people are waiting for us to take this event right here to all the other major Texas cities. Which, by the way, we'll be using the blueprint that we learned right here in San Antonio in all these other Texas cities. But most importantly, this is how you know when you've really made it in life. We've got t-shirts. <laughs> you might be thinking to yourself, that's great for y'all. Those are some pretty snazzy t-shirts. But, what's in it for me? How can I benefit from being involved in a mastermind group? Or more importantly, how can I benefit from being involved in San Antonio Mastermind? Another question you might have, is what is a mastermind? Because every time I talk to people about mastermind groups, or at least virtually every time, almost every time, I get this look of befuddlement, where they really don't understand what a mastermind truly is. So I'd like to have none other than the father of the mastermind himself reveal this concept that could literally change your life. Ladies and gentlemen, Napoleon Hill. Sure. When you form a true mastermind alliance with others, and 
and uh, work with them in a spirit of perfect harmony. You can draw freely upon the spiritual forces within you in uh, carrying out your plans and desires. I also know that the mastermind principle can give you absolute protection against failure, provided always that your purpose is in using this principle is beneficial to all of whom you influence. In my research while organizing the science of success, I have the collaboration of practically every outstanding successful man this country has produced during the past 50 years, and I can tell you definitely that their success was due in the main to their knowledge and application of the mastermind principle. I wish also to call your attention to the fact that our great American way of life and our unmatchable system of free enterprise have been built upon the mastermind principle. The greatest document ever conceived by the mind of man is a perfect example of the mastermind principle in action. It is the declaration of independence and the best evidence of the importance of maintaining perfect harmony in a mastermind alliance may be found in the fact that the 56 men who signed the Declaration of Independence knew full well that it might turn out to be either a license of freedom for all mankind or a death warrant which would cause each of the signers to be hanged. There is no such thing as something for nothing. Everything, including your personal success, has a price that must be paid. and use the experience from others. Accomplish more in one year than you could in a lifetime. Absolute protection against failure. That's some powerful stuff. When I heard Napoleon Hill say that the Declaration of Independence was conceived through the mastermind principle and that the people who signed the Declaration could have very well been signing their own death warrant, I immediately thought of this quote. Those who have the ability to take action have the responsibility to take action. And this is really powerful because taking action in life is the key to your success. And I believe if Napoleon Hill were around today, he'd write a sequel to Think and Grow Rich, which would probably be Act and Grow Rich. Because if you don't take action in life, you fail by default. And the first step of action every one of us need to take is to get away from what I call dream stealers. Unsuccessful people have a common denominator. Unsuccessful people, people who are struggling, are surrounded by people who are trying to steal their dream. They're surrounded by people who don't believe in them and they don't build them up, they tear them down. Conversely, successful people are surrounded by people who believe in them, who support them and who are for them. You'll rarely read about this in success books. But if you desire to succeed, you must surround yourself with people who believe in you. You must surround yourself with people who are highly motivated, successful oriented, and are going the same direction that you want to go yourself. This is a requirement if you desire to succeed in life. Andrew Carnegie understood this principle well. Carnegie understood that the people you surround yourself with don't only determine who you are, they also determine who you become. Carnegie hung around with about 50 like-minded people, and he met with these people on a regular basis in mastermind group sessions. In his book, The Gospel of Wealth, he attributed his entire net worth, which if he was around today, would be four times that of Bill Gates. He attributed his entire net worth to the knowledge and support he gained through his mastermind group. Another key element to being involved in a mastermind group is that you can dramatically cut your learning curve down. You can easily shave five to six years off your learning curve by tapping into other people's experiences and skills. You can learn from their mistakes. I love the quote that says, an intelligent person learns from their own mistakes, but a genius learns from the mistakes of others. Probably my favorite part of a mastermind group is the synergy that's created. Steve Covey talked about this in his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Covey's sixth habit was synergize. And I believe this is where the real innovation takes place, when we build on one another's ideas. Many business owners fail to realize that when you're in the jar, you can't read the label. 
One of the greatest benefits to being involved in a mastermind group is that you get your own peer advisory board. You get people to look at your business from an entirely different vantage point. And this goes along with exactly what I advise in my coaching business. I tell people, you can't improve yourself by yourself. Because when you're in the picture, you can't see the frame. You might be thinking, this sounds great. Why aren't more people involved with mastermind groups if all these incredible benefits come from them? Or, are mastermind groups the best kept secret for only the ultra successful? And here's my response. I think an awful lot of people in this world think that asking for help is a sign of weakness. I don't think that they understand that it's really a sign of wisdom. You see, a lot of business owners out there right now are struggling. And they're afraid to ask for help with the things that could really matter. I've seen too many businesses fail that shouldn't have, all because they lack the support that they needed. That needs to end tonight. Every single one of us need to take a big sigh of relief and tell ourselves, we're going to stop trying to do this on our own because it takes teamwork to make the dream work. Thank you, guys. Wow, that was fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jerry. All right, so our next speaker is definitely, as Jeremy was saying, a dream supporter, okay? I first met him uh, about a year ago when he asked me to be a part of his um, blog that he does where he interviews positive people. He is the creator of The Positive Pin and the Think Positive campaign. Without a doubt, that's what he does. He thinks positive. So when he asked me to do the interview, I could not say no to him. And he's on a mission to make San Antonio a more positive place. Yeah. So let's welcome Jonathan De La Garza. Thank you, Marissa. I mean, you know, Jeremy made a great point about Napoleon Hill and coming together and forming a mastermind group because where else would we get an, a fitness expert to be our MC? I mean, she's awesome. Thank you, Narissa, and great job, Jeremy. Well, guys, before we start, I want to make some acknowledgments, or one big acknowledgement, actually. I want to acknowledge everybody for being here. You guys represent a very small portion of society. Statistically, there's about 10% of people out there that will come to an event like this, invest time in themselves and their business to learn and grow. So I would like you to applaud some of the really incredible people that you're sitting next to, because this room is filled with some really incredible people. <laughs> Mickey Roth, thank you for being here. So, so Jeremy came to me about six weeks ago and he said, hey, would you be interested in forming a mastermind group? And I said, absolutely. Because by show of hands here, who, who among you has a business or a goal or an idea that you would like help with? Show of hands. That's great. I mean, that's, that's probably 80% of the room. So it's obvious by the turnout that something like this needs to be done. And I'm sure some of you guys have gone to networking events before, and you've shared cards, and you've socialized, and you've had drinks and dinner, and I've gone to many of those too. But I leave not really taking my business to the next level. Can you guys relate to that? Yeah. Yes. So the purpose of this meeting and the purpose of, of all masterminds should be to help your businesses grow. Not just go and network and socialize. And yeah, that's fine. But the real reason we're here is to learn and grow. So I'm going to speak to you guys about positive thinking. Now, who here has heard of Barbara Corcoran? Oh, I yeah, yeah, everybody has, right? Barbara Corcoran posted this on her, web, on her Facebook page of the day. And this is what she thinks about negative thinking. She says, negativity is a blood-sucking, poisonous, good-for-nothing weed that kills any creative spark you have in business and life. Keep an optimistic attitude, no matter what in life. I mean, can you imagine going to work with her and having a negative attitude? Absolutely not. No, guys, so it is imperative that you nurture a positive attitude or your business is gonna fail. There's no way, about, there's no way around that. And why, I mean, all of us know it's beneficial to think positive thoughts, right? I mean, we all know that. Studies show that positive people live happier, healthier lives, but what I think happens is I think people get conditioned to be negative. I mean, we live in a negative society, right? Picture somebody walking down the street with a smile on their face, and somebody will look at them and say, what is wrong with that guy? Or what's she smoking? Or what's she drinking? Right? We can't even be positive and happy without being considered crazy. That's just, that's just proof that we are living in a negative society. So 
you know, we become negative because of our habits. And I love what Warren, Buff what Warren Buffett said. He said, the chains of habit are too light to be felt until they're too heavy to be broken. So if you wake up in the morning and you say to yourself, oh, I don't want to go to work today, or oh God, why do I have to do this or that? What you're doing is you're conditioning yourself to be negative, whether you realize it or not. So I'm going to share three principles with you guys. These are very simple principles. These are principles that you guys can use tonight when you go home and tomorrow. But a word of warning. These principles may seem simple in concept. Very simple, actually. Most good ideas are. But I encourage you guys to use them. If you want to condition yourself to be more positive, do them for at least two weeks, a month if you can. So here's the first principle. The minute that you wake up tomorrow, and I mean the absolute second that you open your eyes to bed, I want you to smile the biggest, goofiest, the biggest, goofiest grin that you can. Now, now bear with me, see, you're laughing right now. Laughing has a magical effect on the brain. Laughing releases endorphins. Endorphins are a feel-good chemical. So imagine opening your eyes the minute that you wake up in bed tomorrow. You smile the big goofy grin because this guy told you to. You're going to start to laugh at yourself. And the minute that you wake up in the morning, your brain is in between the theta and the alpha state. That's a state where you can very easily supplant positive emotions in your brain. And I guarantee you guys, if you do that for two weeks, you are going to start feeling happier. You're going to start feeling more energized. Not only that, but throughout the day, when you reflect back on waking up, smiling, the big goofy grin, you're going to laugh at yourself. And it's just a contagious thing. Just like negativity is contagious, positivity is too. The second thing I recommend you do is sing in the shower. Now, bear with me. Time Magazine did an article about singing. It said singing actually reprograms your brain. It releases two natural chemicals. It releases endorphins and it releases oxytocin. Those two chemicals alleviate anxiety and stress. Now, I recommend something from the 80s. Maybe <laughs> Brian Brian. You know, get your Bon Jovi on, get your Wham on. No one's gonna hear you. I guarantee, guys, that'll have a major effect on your, on your life. The last thing that I recommend that you guys do is listen to motivational speakers. This had a huge impact on my life. This probably has been the biggest catalyst for me wanting to live a more positive and a, and a more accountable, better life. This gentleman here, his name is Les Brown. When I was living in Houston in 2000, I was selling real estate and I stopped by a garage sale and I would do that regularly to find books or motivational CDs because I'd be in the car all the time. And I found a mixed CD by this gentleman. He was one of the speakers of about 12. And I put it on and I'm driving. And this guy came on and he was unlike anybody else on the CD. I mean, he had me motivated. And this is a true story. I looked down and I was actually speeding because I was so excited about what he was saying. He has a series called Live Your Dreams. Guys, I encourage you to write that down in the pamphlet. Live Your Dreams, anything by Les Brown, Google him. He will have you believing that you guys have, you have greatness in you. The second one I recommend you listen to is Jim Rohn. This guy was iconic. And, and I attribute really wanting to be a better man because of Jim Rohn. He has a series called The Day That Turns Your Life Around and The Art of Exceptional Living. The Day That Turns Your Life Around is a six CD set and I must have listened to it probably 50 times and I still listen to it. This guy is incredible because he talks about business practices but he also talks about living a better life. As a matter of fact, one of the things that I do is if I'm ever in a grocery store parking lot and you know people leave the baskets out there, even though it's not mine, I'll take it up to the front because it makes me feel good about myself. And then lastly, Darren Hardy. This guy is the publisher for Success Magazine and anything that he speaks about is gospel. He interviews some of the most successful business owners in the world and he has a lot of great information. So Google any of those three guys. Now before I wrap it up, I wanna leave you with probably my favorite quote. And it really has to do with what we're doing here. I mean, we're here to help. Not only do you guys benefit, but we get to benefit too. Because some of you may be hearing this for the first time. We're hearing it for like the 10th, 12th, 15th time because we go over this over and over and over again. So it's a quote by Leonard Nimoy and sadly we lost him recently. And he says, the miracle is this. The more we share, the more we have. So I look forward to talking to all of you and hopefully helping you grow your business. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Again, all positive stuff. And um, I'm wearing, 
He has, um, literally, if you go to the positive pin, a po he has a positive pin that he has. So um, I think it's a great sign to be wearing them. Um, he, it's already in some corporations. And it's just a little reminder of before you bring me your negativity, you know, think first. Filter your words. <laughs> All right, so our next speaker, um, he is a digital marketing coach with over 10 years of experience. Oh, you yourself. <laughs> yeah. He is, without a doubt, a very, very much pay it forward type of guy. And he has, um, he offers classes in digital marketing to help entrepreneurs succeed. And I can tell you, I have attended his classes and they do, the strategies and tips that I have learned from work. him do work, right? And that's what you have to do. You have to invest time. And this gentleman definitely not only invests time in you, but helps you with the, with your work, your business. Um, he, <laughs> one of my favorite things about him is his catchphrase. Once you have applied your strategies, the strategies that he gives you and tips and information, his catchphrase is, is you've been Yusufied. So we want to welcome Yusuf Chowdhury. Hello everyone. How are you all doing today? Okay. Okay. Well thank you Nerissa and Jonathan for your awesome positive stuff and Jeremy you've been very serious. I don't know why you're so serious. Okay. <laughs> So what I'm going to start with, because I have a short time and I have a weird accent, and sometimes I talk very fast, so I'm going to go quick, okay? But I do want you to write those notes. And big shout out for all those awesome people that use the hashtag SA Mastermind and sharing all this cool stuff, okay? The first thing, I really want to say this, that I personally, by my heart, believe that if each one of you want to achieve something in life, you actually can. In fact, I would say you will. And the only person that is going to help you or stop you is, is you. So what I'm going to share with you, 11 principles that actually helped me to build my business. And I have a good news and a bad news. What do you guys want to hear first? The bad news is something you already know. What about the good news? It's something you already know, okay. So the first thing first, this is very serious because every time I teach a, teach a client or coach, this is one of the problems that they don't understand what is programming the mindset as a successful mindset. This is very crucial. If you want to take your business seriously, you have to program your mindset to be a success mindset. Do not make excuses. I get tired of all the excuses. Force yourself to improve. Force yourself to move forward. Force yourself to change the situation as well, okay? Now, the second thing is fear. This is one of the things that took me four years to basically move out of it. And when you look at fear, you can look at it from two different perspectives, okay? A person who don't possess the successful mindset, for them, fear means what? Can someone tell me what fear stands for? Now, something like, you know, Nothing to fear but fear itself. No? Oh, sorry. Yeah. I might go broke. That's it. Might go broke, right? It's a wall. What is it? A wall. It's paralyzing. Paralyzing? Paralyzing. You can look at it from a different perspective. Like for a successful person, you can look at it something like, you know, feeling or running uh, against uh, and rise, right? And for the not successful, you can forget and run, forget and, and run about things. So you have to look from different perspective. So try to avoid that fear because that's one of the biggest things will stop you from moving anywhere. And this is, I know it's very difficult, but you have to jump because I remember Steve Harvey once said, if you guys know Steve Harvey, right? Oh, yeah. So he said that if you have a parachute and if you don't jump, what's gonna happen? Nothing's gonna happen to the parachute, right? But if you do jump, Something going to happen, right? And I'm going to give you a proof right now. I need to use somebody as a guinea pig. Don't worry, I'm not making fun of you. You're right. So I need somebody to volunteer to come here to show you how this moving out of the field will give you some action. Lenny, oh, who's going to come? Come here. I'm going to use as a guinea pig. Okay? I need to work out anyway. There you go. 
So you see, I asked him to come here because I'm going to use him as a guinea pig. And all of you are scared. What are you still going to do? Is he going to be fun at me? Maybe you dance? Guess what, my friend? Because you just came here? $20. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. That's it. I like your business. See, that's what happens when you take action. Okay? I like all of you like, what the heck this guy's going to do to me? Let me break dance? No, don't worry about it. So that's one thing, you have to escape that fear factor, okay? Now next one. Your why reason has to be so big. Narissa previously talked about that one of her reasons that she works very hard is because of her children. Same thing with your business. You have to have a strong why reason. Why you're focused on the business, what is it for? If it's not big enough, you're not gonna succeed. Here's another one, number four. A lot of people don't do this because they consume too much on getting information but not taking any action. Forget about perfection. Just take action. I mean, what's the worst thing that happen? Even if you jump off the cliff, you might break your bone, that's fine. You might live too, okay? So take action. Now, number five, you have to focus, okay? This is very, very important. You have to laser focus. Did anybody try to chase two rabbits at the same time? No? Well, there you go. Don't be a product junkie. I've seen some people like jump from one opportunity to another. Every time I see this person, so what are you doing this year? Oh, I'm just I'm cleaning the street. What about next year? Oh, I'm gonna clean my car. Can I focus on one thing? Focus on one thing until what? Until you achieve it. If you're building a business, focus on it and achieve it. Have a realistic goal, like you know, 12 months, two years, six months, it doesn't matter. You have to achieve it, okay? And constantly and always learn. Learning never stops. Especially with online marketing, this is what I specialize in, it always changes every day. Now, here's the problem. You can't constantly just keep learning without acting. So you gotta learn and act. And whatever you learn, it doesn't have to be a huge bunch of books and information. Learn something to do like, like from our speakers and apply it. Does that make sense? Yep. And here's another, here's my favorite. When I was struggling so much running my business, nobody was there to help me out. So that's why I had a mentor. Then later on, I have a team to run the business. And also, those folks that's going to help you. If you surround yourself with the negative people, they're gonna pull you back. Yeah. Okay? I'm not saying, Stop your relationship with your friends and family, just avoid a little bit because they're not going to help you. I'm serious. It happens, it happens with everyone. So look for those that are going to lift you up. I mean, look at Gigam. This is an organization where they focus on helping entrepreneurs. Look at Coffee Commerce. Look at uh, SPDC. There's so many organizations. I mean, look at that Mastermind event. Does that make sense? Yes? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, people are getting away. All right. Here's another one stay humble. Don't be a jackass and arrogant, okay? So, whether, whether you are good or bad or you're smart or genius or geek, do not give that look and that attitude. I sometimes learn from somebody that, I don't like to call myself an expert or guru. I hate that two, those two words, because I want to be in your level. Does that make sense? So always be humble and always learn from anybody. Just because you have a degree or MBA, that means nothing to me. It's a piece of paper. This is my favorite. Give value. I do this all the time, some of you know this, right? Give that value. Start using educational marketing. Whatever knowledge you have on your business, on your services, give it to people, give some tips. Yeah. Don't be thinking like old school, I don't wanna share this. Really? Have you heard of something called internet? <laughs> right? You yeah. can find everything. So give value, it could be in the form of a blog, a video, podcast, tips, just give it, or events like this. And here's my favorite. I have never seen a successful entrepreneur become successful by being free. Like doing everything for free or cutting corners. You have to invest. I don't care five dollars, ten thousand, it doesn't matter. You have to invest in your business and you have to invest in yourself for your personal growth. Otherwise you're just running a hobby. Now before I leave, I want to also tell you this. Do it now! Do it now! Okay? Now, this is one of my mentors, he used to always remind me, the funny thing, he doesn't know when he got it, I don't know either, so I'm just going to say it. Remember this, that wishing changes nothing, but decision changes everything. So take care and take charge, 
And after this, I'm going to have an official announcement that all of you have been usified. <laughs> Fantastic. He is a wealth of knowledge. Thank you so much, Yusuf. I love sitting in that chair, too. I like sitting in that chair better. <laughs> all right, so our next speaker. Uh, basically, we all know that what you perceive is pretty much what you believe, okay? And our next speaker is the master of perception. He, um, basically, he's the CEO of uh, Boss Creative. He has helped so many companies from startups to huge for Forbes companies get going, grow, succeed using some of the strategies in digital mar marketing that he has. He has a highly successful digital marketing agency servicing elite clients um, and he basically teaches them how perception affects your reality. All right. So having put the mastermind principles into effect, Peter has phenomenal success. He's got great, great work. And again, he's helped over more than 2,000 companies. And he's been at Bosch Creative running the show over there for 11 years. And he has a team of about 65 people in six different countries. All right, he's also an international man. He was born in Egypt. He was reared in Canada. And he has an executive MBA in entrepreneurship. And he is pleased to be in the presence of all of our great minds. So please welcome Peter Boucher. here today this is so exciting so exciting to see every single one of you eager to learn eager to collaborate eager to put in the effort to work together and learn together so one more very big round of applause to every single one of you for coming here today you guys are awesome now we would like to introduce something that's very very interesting Perception is reality. Perception is reality. How does that work? Let's look at a few things first. As human beings, all of us, what is our greatest asset? Ourselves. Ourselves. That's a good, that's a good start. What else? Uh, attitude. attitude. Okay. What else? Support. I don't hear it yet. I don't hear it yet. It is the most powerful asset and mostly underused. Ah, thank you. Who said it? Mind. Our mind is our greatest asset. And essay what again? Thank you. Mastering our mind will master our lives. Our mind is a very, very interesting little thing that every single one of us has. Where's the curse? Thank you. And mastering it is such a very, very interesting thing that a lot of people, a lot of us, um, forget, don't even know it's there. It's that little engine that runs somewhere and you know what? How does that thing work? So let's look at some some facts. I'm just going to change the subject a little bit, but um, what defines reality? What is it? Reality is what perception of it we have makes of it. Have any of you guys looked for something but you can't find it even if it's right in front of you? Yeah. 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 Anybody? Yeah. <laughs> but the funny thing is, your mind didn't accept that that was possible. Even if it's in front of you, you can't see it. So, remember, your eyes cannot see what your brain does not understand. Let's take another example. Remember back in the days whenever the Columbus guys were coming over, you know, to make this whole thing come true. <clears throat> um, the natives couldn't see the boats. Even if the boats were right in front of them, the, native, the natives that were standing right there couldn't see the boats. Why? Because their minds, their brains, didn't even conceive that that was possible. Isn't that fascinating? And whenever they actually showed up in front of them, like, oh, oh who are you again? 
Um, that is a fascinating fact that each and every one of us has in our minds. One more thing you need to remember is, um, now that we know that your eyes cannot see what your brain, your mind does not understand, there is another thing. You have the choice on what your eyes look at, focus on, and see based on what you allow it to. This is how your brain works. You have the power to focus on whatever you choose. And this is where the eyes will finally open up and accept what's in front of it, in front of you. That's when you're looking around and it's right in front of you, it's like, huh, I didn't know it was right there. Exactly. So, um, ready for a quick exercise? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Have you ever seen the cup half full before? <laughs> half empty, half full, half empty, half full. Okay. Um, let's look at it from multiple angles, multiple perceptions, multiple understandings. The pessimist is going to look at the cup and is going to say, well, I don't care if it's half full or half empty, it has substance on it. Okay. okay. Um, <clears throat> The engineer is going to look at the cup and he's going to say, well, actually, the cup is twice its size. Here's another reality. The opportunist, what is he going to do? Thank you. Those guys are wasting my time. Forget them. All right. Um, I want to share with you another reality. The cup is actually, if you look at it closely, the cup is 100% full. Half water? Half air. Thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. And we just went through how many examples of perception in less than a couple of minutes. This is fascinating. This is how the brain, the brain works. Thank you. Thank you. This is exciting. I also want to share with you the risk of not doing it right. Your perception could turn into a hostage situation. Be careful with that. Because if you focus on the wrong things, if you don't allow your brain to consider all the angles of what's going on, you're going to get stuck. And it's not going to feel right. Allow yourself to get your head out of the water <laughs> and look at it from multiple angles. It's very, very, very important. Now, one more thing that I need to share with you guys is what if you choose, remember the word choice? What if you choose not to? You know what, this brain thing, I don't really care. Um, what if us as humans, because I'm not pointing fingers, us as humans, we have human natures, we all have our weaknesses, but what if we choose? Well, I'd like to share a warning with you guys. In order to do that, allow me to introduce the ostrich. The ostrich is a fascinating character. Whenever the ostrich is faced with a situation that it doesn't want to deal with, what does it do? Thank you. One more thing that we've realized that the ostrich's eyeballs are actually bigger than its brain. I'm sorry. <laughs> no comments. This is just a small little warning just to keep in mind of things not to do. One thing that, um, one question that arised a few weeks ago is, well, I'm working hard, I'm focusing on the right things, I'm focusing on the positive, but I cannot see opportunities. Let me repeat. I cannot see opportunities. Well, how do you see those opportunities? They're right in front of you. They're all around us. Every single one of you can actually collaborate with every single one of you in order to create opportunity. They're all around us, right? That's what this is all about. So, first and foremost, the opportunity you want to see, what do you do? You've got to learn about it. You gotta educate your brain about it. You gotta take the time and focus on the right things in order for your mind to see that opportunity. Because it's just gonna appear. Why? Because that's how it works. 
All right? So take the time to study it. Take the time to learn about it. Take the time to allow your brain to create the, the possibility in your mind. And then your eyes will open. And what do you know? It's been in front of you all the time. All right? That's awesome. Perception is also a fascinating thing because it's not just how we perceive ourselves, how we perceive others, but at the same time, how others perceive us. Thank you. So whenever you're doing a business presentation or whenever you're presenting your products and services, make sure that it's presented properly. Make sure that you're allowing your audience to recognize you for who you are and what you do. Remember, presentation is everything. Do not hide, do not run away. You are who you are for what you do and you're bringing a great product and service to this world and the fantastic gentlemen that shared their businesses with us. Another round of applause. You guys are awesome. That's how you do it. Present yourself. Don't hesitate. Don't hide. Excellent. Let's go back to a quick little question. How does this apply to you in every possible way beyond your imagination? Let's look at a couple of quotes from... I think you guys know those people, right? Yeah. What you think you become, what you feel, you attract, what you imagine, you create. I love that. Yes. Yikes. That's great. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure you know who that is. As you think, you shall become. Mm, very big and get big. That's right. And those are pretty incredible minds that this history prides itself of knowing. So, how do you actually implement those mastermind principle, this mastermind principle. First and foremost, hold your mind and yourself accountable. A mastermind and a mastermind group hold, hold each other accountable, but you have the duty, the responsibility to hold yourself accountable for what you're focusing on and what your mind is going because it could go all over the place. Thank you. Your mind is like a muscle. So that's the second thing. People like to train their, their body, people like to train their abilities, but your mind is the same thing. Take the time to train it and make sure it's behaving properly. <laughs> Go to your mind, and make it happen, and it, it starts now, today. Decide to make the choice to start now. As many of the incredible speakers have shared with you guys, knowledge is correct. It's yours, but if you don't do anything about it, it is worthless. It is wasted. Take action. It's all about implementation. One of my mentors asked me this fantastic question that uh, got me thinking for a little bit. What is a million dollar idea worth? Let's take a few seconds. That's an option. What else? Whatever you do with it. Ah. Ooh. Oh. Thank you. That was quick. Hey, that was good. What is a million dollar idea worth? Implementation. Action. Thank you. Make it happen. And make it happen now. Or somebody else will. Will. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To summarize, your mind is greatest asset. Don't ever forget that. You have to master your mind and you will master your life. And it starts today. Presentation is everything. Say yes to life. Thank you. You attract what you project and you become what you focus on. Any of you guys have heard of the movie and the documentary called The Secret? Oh yeah, I love that thing. Yeah, watch it again. And if you haven't seen it, watch it and then watch it again. Thank you. This is incredible. It'll change your life. Don't be an ostrich, just as a <clears throat> warning. <laughs> and you're worth it. Every single one of you that made the choice to look into embettering themselves, 
You are worth it. You better believe it. Thank you all for coming. You guys have been incredible. Thank you so, so, so much, Peter. Um, and very true, perception is everything. I'm a big believer that uh, good health, when you have good health, it equals wealth. Wealth in so many parts of uh, your life. Okay, so good news and bad news. Bad news is, if you haven't noticed, the AC went out. The good news is, I'm not going to make you do the jumping jacks and burpees I was going to have. So, none of that. Uh, it is a little warm and we apologize. Um, it, it is off at the moment. I don't know if they're trying to work. I believe they're trying to work on it. So if you could just bear with us a little bit longer. Um, because now we're getting to the good stuff, all right? Why we're here putting the mastermind principles into full effect and into action. Um, so we're going to bring up our three individuals, okay? We're going to jump right into it. And here's the thing, is that with these three individuals, when you come up here and you're getting coached, make sure you're listening to the strategies and tips to implement these. Because we have an announcement at the end of the event, all right? So please make sure you're taking notes and also for the three individuals that you're uh, taking to heart and um, mind as far as what's being recommended to you. All right, so Jonathan, if you could tell me, why don't we pull up the first person? Ed Wilson, private money lender, please. Ed Wilson, private money lender, so come on up, Ed. All right, so what we'd like to know is you're gonna tell us about yourself, who you are, what you do, and how long you've been doing it, and maybe what, something you may need coaching on or what challenge you may have. Okay, so tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, I try to help people uh, achieve their dreams. And in that way, funding projects that, that may be what they want to do. Um, I have lots of levels of uh, funding. And uh, we try to help. We try to make sure these projects will hold water and everybody will be successful. That's our goal. Been doing it for about a year, and uh, things have been pretty good, and lately they've been very good. So, Ed, give us an example of a, a success story that you've done, that you, you funded. Okay, so a lot of my work I do with real estate investors. That's kind of my area of expertise, and uh, somebody will come to me with a a project that uh, a house they're going to buy and they're going to rehab, and we go over all the figures and make sure they do what they are, what they're supposed to be, and we get them funded, and they do their project and they make money and they pay the loan back, and and you know optimally we we do it again. So not just real estate, you loan money. If somebody has a a business idea maybe that they want to launch, would they come to you for that? They can. They okay. can. Uh, we, we try to be as, uh, as effective as we can for all types of loans, um, and even very big loans. Wow, that's great. Do you have a website? Um, I do. Okay, excellent. Do. Uh, www.altogetherfunding.com. Altogetherfunding.com. Okay, and what would be an example of something that you would like maybe some help on? Like maybe, do you, do you need more clients? No, actually my... my uh, help is probably on the other end. Um, I'm getting so much, I'm getting so many requests for loans that I maybe could use some organizational help. Oh, okay. You know. And have you uh, considered, if you don't mind me asking, have you considered automation or kind of client relation or kind of filtering the type of clientele that come and see you? Like I said, I've only been doing this for about a year, but I am getting there. I, you know, Incredible. each day it comes a little more clear the things that I need to do to, to, to get everybody what they need to get. Awesome. Congratulations on the success. Oh, thank this you. I appreciate it. This is not my first business venture. Uh, before I got involved in real estate and lending, I was uh, in the auto parts business for many, many years. And, um, just ready for a new adventure. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, when, when, it, when it comes to organization, I think you said, in any business I've learned, systems are really what allows your business to grow. There's a great quote by Mark Gerber. It says, systems permit ordinary people to achieve extraordinary results. 
And so when it comes to any type of organizational skills, and I think all of us would love to learn from you how you launch a business in a year and are able to obtain clients like that, because that's fabulous. Obviously, you have been in business for quite some time. But what type of systems do you think you could put in place? What type of routines you could put in place that might help with the organizational areas? Well, my, my thought would really be to, to hire some VAs. Those are virtual assistants for you out there that don't know what that is. And uh, they could help me to process things. So marketing is probably my forte. And, you know, explaining to people what I can do for them is probably my forte. And lately I've just been swamped. I just aren't enough hours in the day. And systems, I would agree with you, Jeremy. Systems really are the answer. And I'm still seeking that out, so. And congratulations. This is a very, very happy problem to have many people <laughs> yeah, look for the other <laughs> challenge, which is acquisition of new customers. I, I would agree with you. Uh, Marketing is different in each business. It really is. And uh, some people just, they, they don't get it. If you don't get it, you're going to have a hard time. Marketing that is, is correct. it's something you do all the time, and you really you really have to get it. If not, you'll be struggling. So. Yes, sir. Now, when you talk about marketing, what kind of marketing we're discussing here? Is it a traditional well, or a digital side? I use a little bit of all of those kind of marketing but I would say probably my most successful marketing is that I have listed myself on a few websites that cater to people who need loans and the response has been remarkable. Excellent. Now you did talk about that you need some sort of VA to help you out. Maybe more maybe more than one. So what kind of resources do you look for to find those VAs? Um, the most cost effective resource for a VA uh, these days is probably Filipino VAs. Okay, have you checked with uh, virtualstufffinder.com? I have not. Then check it out, virtualstufffinder.com, it's one. Mm -hmm. And the second one would be uh, upwork.com. So that one, and that can definitely help you out. I appreciate that. Okay. We also have TechBory that's going to be available if you need help, and uh, Javier is available as well to help you out. Well, good. We'll see them before I leave. Yes, sir. And in regards to the systems, remember that technology is available for you. And if you want to create a customer portal online or a specific type of management, you could use, uh, have you heard of, there's an online tool that we use all the time to manage all our like, thousands of clients. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Basecamp. B-A-S-E Camp, Basecamp. I'm not familiar with that. That's awesome. What it does is it allows you to create accounts and projects for each one of those accounts, and then manage communication, which obviously, in your case, overhead in the, in the communication and the status updates is a big deal. So if you can automate communication and give them a quick update from time to time without having to rely on an email, because it gets lost, and it's not very secure whenever you're talking about you know, financials, uh, Basecamp could be a great tool for you. I will definitely check that out. Yes, sir. And I actually, I think that there's a lot of young business owners or people new to starting their own business and none of us claim to have all the answers by any means. A great coach leads with questions. What advice, I guess, would you give right now, having a, being a successful business owner, launching successful companies, let's say that there's someone that's a year into a business. What advice would you have for an audience member to help them establish and need to hire virtual assistants because there's too many people coming in the door. What could you offer them? Well, certainly every business is different and every business has its own challenges. But my, uh, my, my approach with just about anything that I really wanted to know and get good at is the first thing you need to do is you really have to thoroughly understand it. And for, depending on how technical the business may be, that may be a lot of education. You have to set aside the time for it, and you have to get it done. Once you understand it, it becomes much clearer how you're going to implement it. And once, uh, you, sometimes you have to make some missteps, you know, in, 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 when you're starting out. And eventually, after a few missteps, missteps are just, it's only a little education. Say, well, that didn't work, let me, let me try something else. 
and eventually you start to get on a path that works for you and then you have to enlarge upon that and you have to create systems like you say that, that help you so you're you're not out there all by yourself you know that you're out there you're, you have help so let me let me just so i can understand this because i'm not the sharpest tool in the shed or however this thing goes obviously but um so you've got enough business right now where you don't need more business? Is that what you're saying? Well, I wouldn't say that. Okay. I wouldn't say that okay. at all. I, I'm, I guess what I'm really saying is it's, it's not smooth enough yet that, that I still put in a lot of time and a lot of effort that perhaps some of it's du duplicitous. And, and if my systems are better, it may, it may go smoother. So is this how your, your business operates? You have an advertisement. Somebody mm -hmm. said, I loan money for homes, for example, or okay. what an advertisement would run. They see your number, they call you, hey, I'm, I'm looking at this real estate deal. You answer the phone, you don't have somebody to answer for you? These days I do. You do, yes. okay, excellent. Does anybody in the audience have a recommendation for Ed? All right. My number one thing to say, and this is gonna apply to everybody in the room, listen. Listen to people around you. Listen to the successful people that have done it. Been there, done that. That's how you're going to get ahead in life. This is listening. Great comment. Great, great comment, Chris. Thank, Thank you. you. I would agree with you. And to enlarge upon that, you need to listen to your customers, too. Yes. You know, they'll tell you what they need, and they'll tell you what they want. Yes, sir. But you have to listen. Yes, I just have one last question. Do you sing in the shower? <laughs> just, just sing. I do sing in the shower. That's just, awesome. just, and also in the car. Awesome. And thank you for coming up. Let everybody, let's give Ed a round of applause. If you have a, a, a way to work with Ed, please connect with him after the event. Maybe you have a business project you need funding on. Please talk to Ed. You made use of mine. All right, thank you so much. That was fantastic. Thank you. He had some great, great contributions as well. It was phenomenal, phenomenal listening. All right, so our second person to come up. And, and, it, and our advice, guys, if you come up on stage to bring something to write on or have some, make, some, make sure somebody's taking notes for you. So uh, Jonathan Adams with Adams Gift Body Scrubs, please come up. Remember what the tips they're telling you and the strategies because you want to be able to implement these oh, yeah. later. Jonathan, all right. Come on in, have a seat, have a seat. All right, so tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, and what you do, how long you've been doing it. I've actually been before, and I know exactly what you're going to tell me. <laughs> So, um, and maybe what are some challenges that you're facing, or maybe um, a s certain client that you're trying to attract, or maybe ask an opinion for the panel, and in any area they may be able to help you, whether you have a lot of business or not, okay? Hello everyone, how y'all doing? Hey, John. Um, I'm, a little, I'm a little nervous, excuse me a couple uh, seconds. Uh, you're doing great. So, uh, I'm, uh, my company's name is Adams Gift. Uh, I've been, I'm new. I am just started four months ago. I started in January. I actually invented a new body scrub in, in the process of making new lotions that's not in the world right now. So pretty much as of right now, uh, I, make, I make 10 different scents of and body scrubs. And pretty much what it, it inspired me when uh, actually my girlfriend, she had like allergic reaction to a uh, commercial body scrub that it was like whole different Spanglish in the back of, you know, the <laughs> the jar and you don't understand because it's all scientific words. So pretty much I actually looked up everything and it was like, wow, that's not bad. That's, that's not good for your skin. Oh, look, that's not good for your skin either. So pretty much what I did was I actually did a little research and what you consume every day you can actually use on your skin. So pretty much what I did was I used everyday food to buff and soften and nourish your skin. So pretty much, uh, and also with the lotion, actually it comes with hard because uh, lotions, actually the pure form is hard. 
what you get that look makes it look soft and shiny and everything else is actually chemicals and preservatives. So what I've done is that I've had a natural lotion that's pretty hard and the only thing that goes on nice and smooth. So uh, uh, pretty much uh, as of right now with my business, I'm just looking for investors. Uh, pretty much uh, I have the product. The product is done well. Everyone that uses it loves it. Uh, and pretty much just getting exposure. And do you make the products yourself, or do you have a company that makes them? No, I, I make the products, label the products, jar it, and sell it. Here in San Antonio? Here in San Antonio. That's great. That's incredible. Congratulations. No samples? For the no, I'm kidding. Uh, um, that's great, man. That's, that's really awesome. Oh my God, so, I knew I was coming on. <laughs> so you, what did you do before this? I was actually in the Navy. Uh, I was in the Navy for eight years. Uh, Thank you. I was a foreman deployed many times. Uh, pretty much before that, I was a head chef in Atlanta. So oh, nice. I have a lot of, I like to work with my hands. <laughs> well, we know a guy named Ed who loans money, so just saying. <laughs> so that's, that's your primary need is uh, money. What, um, exposure obviously is the most important aspect for almost any business. What areas right now are you penetrating to get exposure in? What's, what's working? so far? Well, right now what's working for, for me is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Ooh. I'll also have uh, my website, www.adamsgift.co. Just confirmed. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I've actually, I'm still working on it, but it's, it's in the work in progress, like just four months, but I do need a little bit of help because I'm not really, I'm here to chat. So. You've done great. Your website is looking great. It's actually mobile responsive, and I believe, uh, Mr. Yusuf has some good news to share with you for the social media. Absolutely, you rock, man. You did a good job. Really, really, really good job. Uh, so, you. but the good, good groundbreaking stage. It, like, like Peter said, it's responsive based. But I got, I got a few questions real quick. How do you generate leads? How do you generate buyers to your website? How do you push traffic to your stuff? Because it's an e-commerce website, right? Yes. Uh, pretty much word of mouth. Um, I what I've done was I've been traveling around San Antonio. Mm -hmm going through the networking groups, showing people, showing my product, because I've learned that anybody can talk about an idea, but if you have the product right in their face, showing them, hey, look, listen, this is what I had, smell it, feel it. Try to see, if you want to eat it, try to eat it, it's edible. You know what I mean? Just try to, you know, get people to try it out, and just when they try it out, that's when they love it. Now, here's the thing, because you did mention something very amazing about, you know, the situation with your wife and the health issue, right? That part I did not see it on the website. So you have to put on the front, the front, the slider, or whatever the page is, you have to put that some that good copy, because you have to be different, you're not like anybody else, does that make sense? So when somebody visits the website, that's a fact. They, they see that message, you know, why are you different? So you have to put that message, that's the first thing. Secondly, uh, try to invest in Facebook ads. You can invest in Facebook ads to maybe $5 a day, and push some traffic directly to your website, straight to the product itself, that's number two. Number three, Use Google Shopping. Because Google Shopping is a free service. What it does, you submit all your product in Google Shopping, and it's a search engine for you know, an like e-commerce website, and when people click on it, it pushes traffic back to your website. Closer? This way. Closer! Okay. Yeah, I don't know the back. The back. All right. So, the, so those are three tips, because you know, for a website like yourself, an e-commerce base, that means you have to generate tons of traffic, targeted traffic, to make that conversion. So the website is beautiful, it's responsive, but you gotta put that copy, that why message. Like when somebody come in, you have to mention why it's different. It's a handmade, it's this. Then do those three things and uh, then let us know how that, how that goes. One yeah. more very critical, very critical piece that you need to remember is a video. Put a video together as soon as you can, however you can. The experience, testimonial, benefits of your product. This video could be shared on social media, and you can actually boost this video all over the place. In addition to Peter, go to this website called wevideo.com. Wevideo.com. You can use your iPhone or your iPad, shoot the video, and download it, put it to YouTube, put it to Facebook. It's very easy. You can also edit everything on the cloud. They have a free version, and they also have a paid version. So check it out, wevideo.com. That's awesome. Yeah. Are you in any brick and mortar stores where if somebody here wanted to go get some tomorrow, they could go? As of right now, no. I'm actually talking to 
three as of right now. People want their own distinct, all, all of that. I also make customized scents. So pretty much as of right now, I have three different boutique stores that want different scents and I make them all. If, you, if there's a fruit or a nut, I can make them. Wow, awesome. Fruit. If anybody has a connection with a small yeah, business, yeah, yeah. it's a great resource. That is awesome. And yeah. one thing that you could potentially put on your site is something called a distributor or an affiliate program. So that people could actually get a wholesale price by buying volume. You decide what that is so that you have your retail, you have your wholesale, and you have your distribution cost broken down. And then at the end of the day, you just focus on manufacturing. Okay? This is very, very important. Last but not least, what we could mention is, have you heard of Kickstarter? Have you heard of Indiegogo? All of those uh, portals are called crowdfunding. Where people, yes, thank you. Which one is it? Go ahead. GoFundMe.com. GoFundMe.com. There are so many out there. You can just search for a crowdfunding uh, tools and solution. And basically, all you need to do is take orders for people that will fall in love with your product, but you need to put that video together first. This is awesome. You've got an amazing product. Fantastic. Jeremy, you got any? I want to know the audience. Yes. Does it, uh, we, we'll take one. Does anyone, there you go. He had his hand up, so I'm coming over there, Hachu. As this fast as I can guys. in my heels, okay? This is mastermind. <laughs> this is awesome. Great. All right, so do you have a suggestion for him? So, my name's Abel Rodriguez. Um, my profession is customer experience. I'm also a chef, that's my fun job. Uh, um, but I was wondering, you said the product's made with food that you eat. We have a large foodie community here in San Antonio. Have you ever thought about going to any of the local markets, selling any of your items? The Mercado Oliva is rejuvenating here at the Spanish Governor's Palace. I do demonstrations there every month. Um, but that would be a pretty good idea. I actually have not seen or heard of uh, something like yours. I do see a lot of like lip balm, that sort of thing, but the story that you have along with it is something that resonates amongst uh, people of that community. When I do generational studies, it does show that with millennials, if you have a purpose or if you have something that's very interesting and educational, it might be something that's worth purchasing. And people get behind it. Incredible. Thank you, Abel. That was fantastic. And he's a That, right. that's one quick thing, that's such a great point that I think a lot of us might miss out on. And it's the cliche that says, stories tell, or I'm sorry, facts tell, but stories sell. Your story is phenomenal. You need to put a great video, and these videos don't need to be anything as professional as a lot of people, they call it analysis by paralysis. Just put a little video together. A heartfelt message that says, this is the why, here's my why of why I did this. Here's why I think you should get behind it. And, and that's my story. And, and that's really what's going to drive home the point of why this is such a sensational product. So, thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. Congratulations. to come up and again keep in mind what they're telling you write it down and listen um, because we have something to announce at the end of the event it is the San Antonio business calendar come on up right. there you go so. yeah. <laughs> alright so if you could tell us who you are a little bit about yourself and what you do and how long you've been doing it and any challenges you're looking to improve on thank you good evening my name is Michael Espinoza I am actually a business technology coach. I've been one for many years. I'll start with a little story how San Antonio Business Calendar started. It's only eight weeks old, so it's a startup, basically. Idea is pretty simple, and I think all of you can relate to this. I got tired of missing great events like this one. I was, there's so many events in San Antonio were so big, that I'm tired of missing them. So I said, there's gotta be a place I can go to to keep up on all these events. So I started Googling like we would all do, and there's some great calendars out there, but 
What's the problem? There's not one calendar to go to. There's event bright, which is great. Meetup, great. All these are great, but there's not one calendar. So I said, this is it. So I locked myself in my office for God knows how long, and I came up with a site and started it about eight, nine weeks ago. So I'm going to ask you guys for some help here to, you know, what do you think? I've gotten some great feedback already about the idea. Got some good hits, but like anything else, it's getting people to... You've got a gold mine. <laughs> I, like that. I like the way that started. <laughs> yes, sir. And on top of that, you have, I mean, I just heard about you three days ago. Wow. It's like, you know what? There's this guy that's putting the calendar together and for all the events. It's like, huh? What? There you are. That's awesome. <laughs> um, remember, yes, absolutely. Our social media. And also, thanks for using the hashtag and promoting us. You're awesome, dude. I like it. We looked at your website, same thing, responsive base, beautiful. You have a join our newsletter, perfect. I love it, dude. So I want to do it for all of us that go to events. I mean, you know, I'm, I guess in a sense I'm being selfish. <laughs> I want to be able to use my own site to, to take advantage of it. I have one question to ask. Yes, and obviously we're here to help. We're not here to pick on anybody. No. But I noticed on your card you didn't have your name. Well, that's because that was the original card I printed up. I do have a pocket full of cards with my name on okay. it. Okay, awesome, awesome. congratulations. <laughs> you know, the reason I say that, no, I, I went to an event the other day, and it was a networking event, and I got some cards from everybody, and three people didn't have their email address on their card, and I thought, wow, in an age nowadays where technology is used so much not to have your net, your email, I don't know, maybe they don't want to be emailed, but I think it's powerful, I think it's a must. And, and uh, you said, I think you should mention for the crowd what responsive website means, because there may be a few people out here that don't know what that means. Well, basically it means that it's cool. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the responsive based design website means that when you view the website in the mobile device, like iPhone, Droid, or iPad, the whole design changes to the outlook of the device. So what happens, people are not gonna use their fingers like, you know, to make it big or small, it's gonna be scrolling up and down. And Google made that announcement in, in April 21st or 22nd that any website out there that is not mobile friendly or responsive based, there's a chance that if somebody typing, let's say, uh, San Antonio calendar expert or provider, you might not show up because you're not responsive. So that's what I mean by having responsive web design. My question is, in every business model, what's the monetization factor? How do you make money on this? I, I could use some help with that. My initial thoughts on monetization are promoting of events. I want all these events are put up for free. So the model to get the events on there, the biggest challenge, I started talking to people that did calendars, and I think all of us, again, probably uh, been involved in this, where you've got a calendar, somebody asks you to put their, your event up there, and it's the time. You forget, you, you mean to, good intentions. So I'm gonna use more of a pull model. I've got a couple of people that are searching out, finding events, and populating it, so we don't have so people don't have to do it. Now, it'll all be up there. Anybody can go to the site, submit anything for free. The monetization comes in, hopefully, where they want to promote their event a little, you know, a little more. Larger ad, larger promotion. Sponsorship. Yes, sponsorship. Sponsorship, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Again, we're pretty new, so I'm What's new to this game. On the site? Excuse me? What's your traffic like on the site? Oh, in the last... Oh, uh, eight weeks, I guess, had maybe a thousand or so? That's going to sell you the most. 800? The, the more that you advertise your site, I, yes. would, use, I, I would say that creating a, a, a face on members, getting on there and paying like some type of membership fee. You know? Yeah, and, and I'll get some hopefully do some monetization that way, but I want, I want the site to get a lot of people first. I just want it to... I guess it's a way to give it back. <laughs> you know, so I've had a good career at San Antonio. I want to give it back. I want an easy set site for everybody to use, and then the monetization, I, I hope, will come. So the main <laughs> thing you're looking for is exposure. I yeah, mean, that's, 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 that's what the most help. Okay. Yeah, from you guys, exposure. Um, What's the website again? Some it's sabusinesscalendar.com. Nice, sabusinesscalendar. Quick question for you. For short, sabc.me. <laughs> yeah, like that. Quick question for you. How do calendars get added to the site right now? Um, we're putting them on there, or you can go up at the top of the site, there's a submit button. When you put them on there, how do you let the event coordinator know? Uh, that's what we're still working on. I've, 
I teach at a lot of places, I present a lot of places, so a lot of the events up there, I already have personal relationships with some of the top, like you saw. Him and I teach and do events at a lot of similar places. A lot of the majority of events come from SILT 8020 rule. Mm -hmm. So I do, have, I do have a lot of backing from them. All I'm doing is pointing to their site. I'm not trying to be an event. I'm not trying to register people. I'm not trying to that. All I want to do is that people have the ability to go to the site, see something, click, and then go to the event, you know, the event, actual event site, register, go there. It's, a, it's an aggregation, just a simple aggregation. A simple, simple aggregation. That's awesome. Really awesome. You know, one of the mistakes people make is they try to monetize too soon. And it sounds like you already have a great strategy for that. And the adage, if you build it, they will come, is nonsense. You have to build it, and you still have to market the heck out of it, and you need to provide enough value that people will say, you know, the, the Facebook is the greatest example that we'll have. They didn't monetize Facebook for a while. They just tried to figure out what their business model was, who their customers were, and I think if you can make something, one of the issues I have, and Peter touched on this in his talk, a lot of these sites that we go to, if they're not pleasing aesthetically, or you don't want to look at them, I'm not going to search for events. He's, he's late for an event. <laughs> I'm just going to go to something else. So you've done a fabulous job with the design of your website. I think that the monetization will absolutely come. Seth Godin, his key these days of what he teaches is the masters of the new coming universe are the connectors, the people who are going to connect other people and you know exactly what we're doing today, like-minded people and bring them together. So we love your business model and we'd love to do whatever we can to, to with, support it. With that in mind, I also want to support and hope, hope I can promote events from smaller organizations, because the large organizations do have some infrastructure they can promote, but the smaller companies, they have events, they have very valuable events. Again, I come from the technology side of things, there's been some great technology events over the year that are, that are unfortunately very, aren't attended very well because they just don't know about it. So I encourage any of you, please, if you have events for your business, business events, please let me know. I'll be glad to put them up there. The more, the better, I think. Do we have any uh, questions or any advice from the audience? Please, feedback. Let's take, let's take two. Yeah. Yes. Hi, I'm William Gaskins. I'm a small gaming company called Tabletop Generals. I was wondering if you have considered using bots to crawl the meetup, the other various calendars, and import events using keywords. I've, um, yeah, I've started pursuing that. Again, I'm not a developer. I've per started pursuing that. I'm not a developer, but you know, you've got the RSS feeds, things like that, but I just haven't gotten the good results from that sporadic results so so far I mean if it's necessary to keep a, a body doing this regularly I've got a good database of over 200 organizations in, in this city that have at least a monthly event so if I can get that process very you know simple then I can probably afford to have a person do this on a regular basis well but that's a good point yeah I was so, saying if you could automate it yeah I, I would try to words. and again so any of you that can help with that is. yeah again I'm not a developer I'm a WordPress Basic guy. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I can't code worth a darn either. But, um, but there are people seven floors up that could help yes. you with that. Yes. And it would save you Thank a lot you. of time. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thanks. Okay, one more. Yes. Did you say that right now, currently, you do not have a way for people to sign up? Yes. Well, there is a. You can. The idea is to put your email address in there, you can choose the category. It's broken up into eight categories. It's also broken up geographically, so parts of the city, and it's also by organization. So if you go to Cafe Commerce, there's a, there's a link on the homepage, click, you'll see all their events. You go to UTSA Small Business Development Center, all of those. You can sign up for, and get emails, so that is in place, and you can put your events by just hitting the submit button and put it up there. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. That, was, Thank you. that was my question, is if you can filter and receive emails. Yes. Yeah, I, what I, what I think most people will do, I think we'll just send an email with the event and say, here, please put it up. <laughs> put it up. That, that could be a way to monetize by sponsorships because by the special interest groups, you would focus businesses and want to target okay, yeah. that demographic. 
So once again, that's sabusinesscalendar.com. Michael, thank you for coming up. I hope you guys learned something. Thank you. Thank you. Man, we would have used that if we knew. <laughs> Can I say one thing, please? Yes, sir. Go for it. Adding on to what you said, sir, about the dreams and stuff. Mike? Yeah. I was going to say that if you plant a seed anywhere, well, that's what you did over here. It plants a seed. It grows. It's not my grow. I'm hoping it grows. But the mind says to me, it grows. Thank you. All right. So that was phenomenal guidance, guys. Again, I hope you all got a lot out of that as much as the ones who got coached. And those who did get coached, please, I hope you implement those strategies and take them with you. Um, because, as an added bonus, we all know that part of coaching is accountability. Okay, you have to put it into action, like they were saying. So in two weeks, on June 23rd, correct? At 8 p.m., there is going to be a video online webinar using stream.sa.mastermind.com. No, right. So we're going to have a follow-up with these three individuals to see if they've put any of these strategies into effect and if they've gotten any other results out of this. All right, so please join us online. I hope um, to see some of you online as well. And if you shared your email with us at the front, uh, we will be sending you a link to the webinar and any updates as well for SA Mastermind. And if you didn't get a chance to do that, please do so on the way out. Um, you're going to receive a short survey too, guys. If you can please fill that out so we can help improve future Mastermind events. I know the AC is off, so <laughs> that's probably going to be one of the suggestions. But again, thank you for bearing with us. And... Uh, don't forget, we will have another um, SA Mastermind event, so you have to RSVP on that. And you can go to www.samastermind.com. And lastly, guys, these guys put a lot of time, money, and effort into this. So if you can please give them a round of applause. And we have one more thing. Um, so yes, they put a lot of time and effort into this, and I can attest to it. They put a lot of time. Um, I hope you're able to apply some of this. We want it. We have one thank you. Um, have you ever wanted to come up here? He asked if he could give a thank you real quick to uh, Peter. So he's going to do that really quick. If you can hold on just one moment. Sorry, guys, I won't keep you. So I serve on the Bear County Child Welfare Board for about the past five years. We basically help the abused and neglected children of Bear County. And I just wanted to give a big round of applause to Peter Bechet and his people at Boss Creative. They donated a free website to the Bear County Child Welfare Board. They will be going live very soon. It is live now. Congratulations. That's awesome. All right, so if you can, please also, uh, one more thing. Go to the Valencia after this. There's air conditioning at the Valencia that we'll be heading over there. If you could please, please help us out really quick. I know it's crowded. Um, if you are able to grab a chair and just fold it against the wall, put it against the wall, that would help us tremendously. Again, have a great night. Stay safe. And we'll see you again soon. You guys are awesome. Stay fit. Stay fierce, guys.